Hello everyone. Welcome to week one. Uh, uh, for my Hindi fans in uh, India, Namaste. Uh, also for my Odia fans from my regional community in India, uh, Namaskar bhai o bandhu mane. Uh, let me briefly introduce you to the PhD system we have in the Netherlands. Uh, so you work here as an employee and not as a student, which may be a bit of surprise, but it's true. It's mostly the same in all over Europe. So you are handsomely paid, uh, roughly around 2,000 or 2,200 or 300 euros, uh, considering you did after the deduction of tax. I'll leave all the details below. Uh, where I've answered in Cora, uh, what are the salary ranges in Netherlands. And the benefit is that you also work in different international projects with multiple international partners. And this salary also includes employee benefits, holidays, bonus, etc. etc. Although it may seem fancy and smooth in the beginning, but at the end of the year, uh, roughly about after 12 or 5 months, that is the uh, one year review thing comes up. So you need to come up with a PhD proposal where you explain uh, what is the goal of your research and uh, uh, what really you want to do during the course of your journey because the PhD duration in Netherlands is 4 years and you are evaluated at the end of one year and this also varies depending on whether you are an external PhD or an internal one because some external PhDs work part-time so the duration may be little bit more and uh, less intensive as compared to what we do because for us it's four years uh, but for external PhD it varies sometimes it's five sometimes it's six uh, and also besides all these details let's go to the main focus of this blog the first weekly blog uh, although you may call it the 53rd weekly blog because this is the first week of my second year of my phd uh, so this is about the yearly assessment of the phd research what happens in a, a yearly review so it generally takes place in the 12th or the 13th month uh, and it varies from university to university so depending on your university they have different criteria but roughly it's between uh, in the 12th or the 13th month and uh, today is uh, 30th of August uh, few days back I finished my first year proposal which I'm going to talk about at the end of the video so what you do is that you have your proposal ready and you have 10 to 15 minute presentation uh, to a committee uh, there is then there is a q and a session and uh, finally you get to hear the decision of the committee that is whether you pass or you fail so mostly people pass but you never know so you need to be prepared and if you pass then you continue for three more years and your contract gets extended uh, the committee generally comprises of uh, two internal reviewers that is from your own university who, do, who doesn't work with you uh, excluding your promoters and daily supervisors obviously and uh, it also comprises of uh, two external reviewers uh, who evaluate your proposal yes it sounds stressful I know uh, but it is what it is if you start well uh, and follow a planned methodology right from day one it will pass as another day and trust me uh, it's not true <laughs> okay don't panic if you do it step by step then you'll succeed uh, so how is the assessment done uh, I cannot describe it in details because this video is too short uh, but I will try to leave some links below so that you can refer them if you want and uh, this is basically evaluated based on your yearly commitment, dedication, contribution and finally the suitability of your proposal and mini defense performance that you do on the D-Day that is the day of your uh, yearly review. Some other specific details uh, uh, I am not going to include obviously uh, but one important thing I missed 
is that if you have publications publications they count a lot then uh, it gives you a strong footing during your presentation one thing you gain from this is sometimes uh, I mean from this kind of uh, exchange of ideas and open discussion during this one year review is that sometimes you develop some kind of potential collaborations for a research uh, which is really really useful for the long term so what next uh, after the yearly review you feel like an uncaged bird uh, why this metaphor because I like nature okay uh, because this gives you a license to stay in Netherlands for three more years as a scientific researcher and speaking about your extension of your contract it's the same for everyone but for me or for us as non-europeans uh, you also need they also apply your work permit because you are an employee so that also gets extended after your contract gets extended so that is also essential otherwise you cannot stay in Netherlands uh, without a valid reason or valid work permit uh, speaking about me I mean like my defense which I am not going to brag or make it a big point but just to in brief uh, I did a pretty good uh, mini defense uh, last uh, two three days back uh, uh, it was I know like saying it is very easy but once you finish it you feel like a lot less uh, kind of a load is gone off your shoulders so more importantly it expanded my way of seeing certain elements uh, in my research uh, now I move to publishing my literature review in my upcoming conferences and uh, okay one thing I forgot uh, you will see uh, my first conference publication which I made during my first year uh, that is the theme of week 2 video next week we'll talk about that so that also helped a lot to, to get a good impression and uh, to also help me as a, as a presenter to, to prepare my storyline like how I moved from in the year 1 and how I'm going to move year ahead so if you are really interested then you can visit my academic website I'll leave the link below and you can also uh, have a look at my uh, other details if you want to know what I research I do that is also going to be planned for some uh, later weekly videos where I'm going to di discuss in details in 5 to 10 minutes about my research so what is the short tip of the day what do you learn from uh, maybe this situation or maybe in general because I wanted to also include some kind of tip or a small interview at the end of the video so that you get to know what re really happens or maybe a kind of a, a motivation or a push so that you can uh, it helps you in the long run so in this type of situations uh, I mean in this type of situations uh, when you face a, uh, a committee in a yearly review with so many people uh, it might get stressful you might get stressed but when you appear before a committee then you should always breathe and answer the questions to the best of your knowledge honestly uh, they need to know how capable you are of doing research instead of whether you know everything in your field so you don't need to know everything in your field uh, still you can pass if you can express yourself uh, actually what you want to do and uh, what is your long-term goals and uh, obviously how well you align with the plan and uh, meetings with your supervisors and promoters so see you next week where you get a peek into my conference experience and also my publication that i talked about which will be really interesting so till next week uh, okay before that please subscribe and spread the word so that people will know what is happening and they will uh, share it and it it kinds of the information spreads very fast so please subscribe and uh, Press the bell icon particularly to get notified when I publish a video. 
so see you next week and till then uh, peace